ครับโอเคคุณยินเอ๋ I am I interview you quite a lot but I think it'd be quite good if we could introduce some of our guests that are here today that are going to spend some time with us I'm Ben. I've been in the UK for about 20 years, but involved in youth football for the last four. I grew up and played in in Holland, so I'm finding the dif difference between Holland and England still a bit something to manage uh, manage with. I'm Steve. Um, I manage my son's under 12s team. I've helped out since they were under sixes, but took over the coaching role 18 months ago when the coach stopped doing it. And all the other parents went, "Anybody want to do it?" And all the other parents took a step back and left me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Deepak. I started grassroots coaching about 10 years ago. I started doing under fives up to under tens, and then moved to Stratford Town Academy um, from 14 and now under 18. Hi, my name's Stu. I've only been coaching two and a half years grassroots, but that's since my eldest uh, was under 12s, so we're now under 15s. Difficulty in sort of attitude change and how cheeky they are. <laughs> I, I help coach me the middle child's under nines team and my youngest under fives. I have to say, I, I know about what the guys are doing because I started in a similar situation when I was 21. I, I always knew I wanted to be a manager, but nobody asks usually for this. And um, when I was studying sports science and in Frankfurt, I played football in the third division and trained the, from Eintracht Frankfurt. It's a German Bundesliga team, yeah. the under 10. I really enjoyed it and it's really hard work. It's a good, good thing to do because the boys are these open eyes, love the game, so that everything is good. But then how you said, um, next year under 12, you take another team and everything changed. They grew 10 centimeters. Oh, good morning. They got deeper voices <laughs> like, oh, hello. As a, a youngish aspiring coach, uh, would you suggest maybe going abroad to learn a bit more of the trade? First of all, you would, I think you would, you, if you go to Germany, you would, you would see that, um, that the circumstances in the youth football in Germany are, I would say, better. When I first came to Liverpool and we had training in, in Sunday morning and then I, I drove home and then I saw in a massive rain, <laughs> a really massive rain, all these parents with their umbrellas and I saw the, the boys playing football and I thought, oh my God, they have to go to the car after the game, no worry. You don't want to have your own son in the car, he go out, walk next to the car. Yeah. So in Germany, this organization is, is, I think, yeah, it's better. So we have a lot of small clubs, but the job as itself and the training around the tree, then it's the same, only circumstances, I think, are most of the time are better. That's the biggest difference. In Germany, it's the same. First of all, the, the youth coaches are um, is the man who takes the time for it. How you said, everybody's asking and make a step back and then I, I stood there, that's it. My youth coach was like this. He was, uh, he was not the best coach in the world, but he was the one who gave us, at the end, the perfect start position because of his passion for the sport. He, he did not know much about football, but at the end he gave us a ball and let us play, but what he was always there. At the end, the player by themselves make the decision if they go through or not. You see it first or second day if there's a big talent in your, in your team. And you see the other boy who play, you know he will play another two or three years and then he will stop. And then helping these guys developing until their natural limit, first of all, and bring other to a, to a real good base where they can start from then in another club, um, in another situation. That's what youth coaches has to do, and that's, um, you have to enjoy this, but because at the end, if he gets really, really good, you will lose him. We all talk always about professional football. So that, that's it, that's interesting, the whole world, we all know the players, they, the role models are in the world, but about 98% of all the people who play, play football in their life have no chance to be a professional yeah. football player. But this game is only the game we all love because everybody can play it. You give them the, the opportunity to, to learn it as good as they can. So that's, everybody should be thankful, really, for this, for your job, what you're doing. And the end, I know I'm, I'm really ambitious and for me it's really difficult to lose. It's really difficult. I try to learn it, but it's not easy. You have to try to help your players and at the end you have to accept the, the outcome. You have to, okay, yeah, let's try next week again or something like this. And staying in the race and giving them the, the confidence to, to, to go on playing football because that's, these are the roots for, for, for what we are doing here.